it's an incredibly frustrating situation. Um, clearly, she's not been able to provide any value to shareholders at all. And, and all of the rise in the stock price has just tracked the rise of Alibaba. So I think the real question and the question I've posed to people is, where do they go from here? And I can't get an answer from anybody. So I think it's time that they just cut up the company, sell off the parts, and accept that Yahoo's last days have, have come. Wow. And, and, and this despite the fact that people do say that there are bits in there that that have value that do well. I mean, if you think of Yahoo Sports, is there no way forward or is this just something that has to live under the roof of another company? If so, who would buy those parts? Well, first of all, you brought up, I think, the best point, which is they have great franchises in sports and in finance, and they need to develop those into mobile applications that people use, and they can really leverage the content they have with new, like, let's say, video content to make some really nice standalone apps for finance and sports, for example. But I think their core search business is part of the problem. It's a declining business. Their search results aren't that good, and I think it's a perfect thing for Microsoft to buy. You know, Microsoft tried to to buy Yahoo many years ago and they turned it down and in hindsight I think that was a big mistake other than the value of Alibaba rising so I think that uh, Microsoft might get a great deal for the search and email assets. They could spin off the other uh, portal assets into a, another company or sell them. Um, but any way you look at it you're cutting up the company and you're selling off the parts uh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, Ross, Marissa Meyer, was she just tasked with an, an impossible job for a company that had sort of already seen its day? Or were, were, was this a sort of strategic error on her part? It's strategic errors on her part. I mean, look at Tim Armstrong and AOL. AOL was a legacy business, very similar. And, and he took the business and he turned it around and sold it to Verizon and made his shareholders great money. Um, so I blame management 100%. I mean, she's made one bad move after another. Everything that I've heard about her in her style is just not conducive to getting results, in my mind. I think a lot of these tech product people end up in CEO positions that they're not qualified for. And I think that's the case here. She's not qualified to be a CEO. You know, next she's going to run for president and say what a great job she did, you know? Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I, I'm assuming you're referencing Carly Fiorina for people in, in our <laughs> audience who may not uh, yeah. understand that reference. Um, that would be something, wouldn't it? I mean, it is, listen, this is a rapidly change, changing landscape. Um, there are many who are sort of struggling to find their way forward as everything, sort of the lines blur everywhere. Um, do you think, with all the pressure coming, that they can continue on spinning off this core Internet business? I mean, what would that look like, or, or are the forces already sort of working against that? Well, you know, the stock market's not a kind place, and, and business is a tough environment where there's so much competition in their space. So I think they had their moment, and they have missed it. And that's why I'm saying I think the only solution is cutting up the company and selling off the parts. I don't see a way out for them. And I think about this stuff a lot. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I do this with all the tech companies is what, what's the future? And, and what is the future for Yahoo? When you ask yourself that and you think about Yahoo in the 90s in their heyday and you go, God, this company's it's gone a long way. But sometimes they just end and, and you know RCA created the television where is it today yeah exactly and it's hard to sort of rec reconcile with those when you when it's such a big brand and, and you still have all that yeah. name recognition you talked about Microsoft maybe buying search email let's get back to that sport and finance that that part of the company that does seem successful who who would be a potential buyer there what would happen to that especially for all those people who are currently well, using those by the way well, if I'm ESPN and Disney, I buy Yahoo Sports tomorrow because that's the big issue at Disney is they need a standalone streaming app for sports. And if they can merge all the data that Yahoo has in the fantasy leagues with ESPN content, I think it's a great standalone app. So please, Bob Igar, I hope you're watching and you're in a foreign country right now. This is a great move. And in finance, I think um, one of the many different companies that provide financial information, like a media company, like um, any of the major media companies could buy the finance site um, and do very, very well adding that into their standalone app. So I think those properties have a lot of value.